to talk today about the fever, which is the one of the commonest presenting symptom for the. Once again, once again. Pehle na introduce yourself. Okay, okay. This is Doctor Himanshu Lama, consultant for Jaipur Medical Hospital. Okay, okay. Now, today's fever and cough. Okay, okay. 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 Okay,
or whether it is the wet cuff or associated with mucus production, which indicates it is the lower airway involvement. But in sometimes in children, even in lower airway, we can get dry cuff, and that happen in like in cases of severe asthma or sometimes in pneumonia as well. Okay, and the severity of cuff as such doesn't tell about the severity of the illness per se, because in the more severe illnesses involving the lungs as such, like in pneumonia, we get a very mild cuff. So cuff severity means ki viral or allergic thing. Okay, now to diagnose the cuff, we also want to proceed in a systematic manner. Whether it is a sudden onset cuff, which we which we see mostly in the cases of foreign body or sometimes in the asthma or allergies. The second thing is whether it is associated with any fever, which indicates some viral illnesses mostly. And the other things are associated symptom like any nasal discharge. And if a discharge is happening, what is the color of the discharge? Associated pain in the throat or the mouth breathing, snoring. So these symptoms pointed towards the cause, like adenoids, like tonsillitis, or a pattern of the cuff which is there, the sound which is there. So sometimes we wake up, we get a hoarse cuff which is indicate rider or the upper airway involvement. Sometimes we get typical wheezing sound which helps in diagnosis in the lower airway disease. And the third thing is a abnormal sound called grunt, which is the most severe type which we came across in the pneumonia. So these type of sounds which are happening along with the cuff helps us in diagnosing that thing and the treatment of the cuff is also aimed at the treating the underlying disease and uh, fever and cuff as I have just touched on the basic aspect only and over aim as a pediatrician is to teach the parents mainly that we are not able to treat them fully like in the cuff but we have to counsel them effectively so that to avoid harmful practices same way in the fever. So as a pediatrician, our role is to treat in the, with less to less possible medicine and investigation and uh, to avoid the harmful practices which are prevalent in the society or uh, the parents learn from the internet as such. Well.